Inflammatory bowel diseases, ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease, can both be really challenging to talk about. They involve things that often involve a lot of stigma or are very personal to people. Um, you don't generally talk about your bowel habits over coffee with your friends. They can be challenging to talk about with your physician as well. As much as that's the place to do it and the, the time to, it can be kind of difficult to bring things up, um, to talk about some of the challenges you may have or the times when you didn't have as much control as you might have wanted. On the physician's side, you're often trying to figure out what matters to the patient that day. You're walking into a visit where you have limited time and, and you're frankly forced to be a bit of a detective to try to understand what's going on with a particular patient, what matters today, and what, what you need to focus on. One of the challenges that people living with IBD and their physicians can have is they may not mean the same thing when they use the same words. So we may say flare, and that may mean to one person an inflammatory event, something you can see on colonoscopy, and to another it may mean that they had a day with some bad symptoms. Those are both very important, but they have different severity and different implications. It's important that when we use these words, we mean the same thing. People with IBD and their physicians need to have common goals of what they're aiming for with their treatment. Those may be things that you can see or measure, things like laboratory results, things like the colonoscopy or endoscopy results. It's also how people feel. And it's important that we have standardized ways to describe that and assess that. We've worked for a number of years to understand what matters to patients and to develop standardized tools for assessing patient-reported outcomes. The UCPRO and CDPRO tools were developed with patients with a lot of input around what symptoms matter, what outcomes matter, and how those things impact their lives. We're using these new PRO tools in our clinical trials. The FDA has a rigorous development process for patient-reported outcome tools, and the UCPRO and CDPRO were developed following those guidances and are undergoing review now. We hope to bring these PROs to clinical practice not only to standardize the way that we talk, but hopefully also to talk about what's going on in between visits and understand before you walk into the visit what's going on. So one way to do that is to start to ask those questions more routinely. Maybe to use things like digital health tools to collect it. If we can bring them to the same page before the visit starts, the physician doesn't walk in trying to be a detective and the patient trying to get up their nerve to talk about something embarrassing. Maybe we can head off flares before they happen. Right now, a lot of care is done in the midst of a flare. So someone's not feeling well and they come in and get treated. If we can monitor what's happening in between visits, maybe we can recognize things early.